I think we're overwhelmed. Um, a bit worn out, um, tired, frustrated. Hard. Under pressure. I'm tired because, you know, this is relentless. Tired. I wanted to do general practice to help people, but at the moment it just feels like there's, there's no time for that because the demand is so high. And I understand that it's very frustrating for, for you as a patient trying to get an appointment. It's really frustrating for us as doctors and nurses. We want to help you. Um, we're just really struggling at the moment, so we need to work together to, to try and improve things before you ring us, just think, is there something else that you could perhaps do? Um, take some simple painkillers, if you've got a sore ankle or a, a headache or whatever. Don't just think that the GP is, is there twiddling their thumbs, because I can promise you they're not. Yeah, it's really hard for us, because when people come to us, a lot of the time it's because they're poorly, they need something. You know, when you're not feeling well, you're not really in the best of moods either. And it is frustrating that you've had to wait a really long time to get through to us and you're not necessarily getting the answer to the question that you're wanting. Um, but we are doing everything that we can and we do really want to help. Um, and that's, that's what we're trying to do when we speak with people on the phone. There might be other better qualified people to see somebody with a different problem. And by doing that, by doing that navigation at reception, it means that we use our resources to the best of our ability. For the patient, getting them to see the right person, um, but also making sure that we protect um, you know, the NHS and the resources that we've got within, within primary care. In a week at the surgery, we're seeing over 2,000 patients. So we're providing lots and lots of appointments for people who need them. People are accessing the surgery in lots of different ways. People will ring up. We only have a certain number of staff who can answer the phone, so that's difficult. We have other ways of accessing the surgery. People will email us. People will send us online consultation forms. So that, and then people will still come now come to the door now. We, people can come into the surgery. So there's lots of ways people can try and access an appointment. Staff are massively affected by abuse from patients and it is on the increase and it's all practices I think are experiencing the same, the same issues but staff get really demoralised, they get really upset, it affects their work because if they've been abused and they've been trying their absolute hardest it's difficult for them to refocus and, and get on with their work uh, and some of the abuse is entirely unacceptable. The biggest thing to say is I didn't train to do medicine via a telephone or an app or sending a text message. I trained as a GP to see people face to face, sit down, connect with them and then find a you know, solution to their problems together. And I understand you know, we're going to make mistakes from a reception point of view, from a practice system point of view and also as clinicians. But what we'll do is hold our hands up and find a way to get you a solution that you need. Unfortunately, every day is a bad day. And bad days run into bad weeks, into bad months, and it's been a bad year, <laughs> so it's, it's difficult.